Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to more Pokemon Black Rivals Edition. Last time we managed to get the TM Earthquake. This time we are going to go to the post game area right of Opelucid City and see what this game has to offer because normally this would be blocked off to you. But here we go. We are now in Route 11. Alright, trainer of Route 11, what is the first thing you have? Like, don't speak that language. I don't even know what you said. Um, I, I could, I could help you fight. So let's fight. You have a crow gun. The first enemy you see in Pokemon Black is a crow gun. If you go to the right. So, crow gun versus Lilligant. Lilligant will get her ass kicked. But her hidden power is ground, so we should try to do as much damage as possible. Here we go. And I just noticed the level difference. We are actually in trouble when it comes to level difference. We are, uh, we are quite under level. Is the easy way to put this. But it's okay, I'm not afraid of wild Pokemon that are 20 levels higher than me. I'm not afraid of trainers that are 20 levels higher than me. All that matters is that our Pokemon get trained up. Because level 46 is a goddamn joke now that I think about it. Notre combat is that Okay, I can't read that, and I didn't even get enough time to read that. Alright, so we're gonna go over here, and we're definitely not gonna use a repel, because guess what? Everything's gonna be higher level than us. Everything at this point is going to be stronger than you, okay? I just want you to know that. What the hell's going on in here? Please don't be something that'll just kill me. Oh, cool, a Gligar! If you want a Gligar at Oh, it's only level 47? What the hell? Oh, so the trainers are super strong, but the freaking Pokemon, nah, they, they're, they're freaking weak. I mean, they're still higher level than me, but they're not 20 levels higher. Alright, let me fight another super strong trainer. What about you? My Pokemon and I spend so much time together, we don't need words to understand one another. Do you think we can win against- you can win against us? I feel like I've heard that line before, to be honest, so I'm gonna deduct points from Game Freak. How dare you use the same line twice? Oh my god. Oh, Bonita, how are you? I miss you, Bonita. There is Rapidash, the very fast, physical attacking fire type that can also learn special attacks. We used to use one in Pokemon Black- or Pokemon Platinum. And her name was Bonita. So it's kind of kind of sad looking at this one. So this one's way higher level than us, and it's going for a bounce. Luckily, I'm not really afraid of a bounce, because we're, we're not afraid of a bounce. It's going to be faster than us, because Rapidashes are extremely fast. I'm just praying it doesn't get the Paralysis. And it did not get the Paralysis. That is a nice touch. We could take whatever this thing dishes out thanks to the Intimidate, but I am still scared. If, if, in case it had a special attack. Plus, I was scared because of the level difference. That level difference is gonna hurt like hell. So, Scruffy, I understand why you fainted. Don't worry, we have revives. We were I am prepared for this endgame in a way that I shouldn't be, but we I am prepared to be fighting opponents this this much stronger than us. All we need to do is surf. It's gonna try and bounce. Oh, it tried to fire a blast, which we can take very well. I would say half our health at least. Oh, no, not even half our health. Never mind. We can take very well because Toadsworth doesn't die in one hit. Unless this thing knew Sunny Day and Solar Beam. And yes, I saw that it survived that. I probably should have went for Earthquake. I honest to God thought it would die to a Surf. But yes, the level difference is terrifying. We gotta be I gotta be more attentive to that. So hopefully this doesn't get the paralysis just like Oh wait, it doesn't matter. Get the paralysis. I have Rocky Helmet. You just killed yourself. Heck yeah! And like that, we got a bunch of experience for our Toadsworth. Still hurts that we're gonna kind of dying, but who cares? Lil Pil Lilligan also got a bunch of experience. But uh, oh crap, she has a cat turn, so we're gonna have to send in Embor. With the power of Embor, we shouldn't have any problem taking her out, but we gotta be careful. There is nothing more dangerous than a freaking cat turn, due to its high attack stat, high special attack stat, and the fact that it can learn uh, Sucker Punch. Defenses though, it's not very high. So I'm gonna go for the Hammer Arm, our strongest move, and I guess Quick Claw is kind of a jerk move because it lets us go first. Quick Claw, you've been activating a lot more lately and I'm very happy to see that. Cacturn, your defenses just weren't high enough, and Roast, your attack was definitely high enough. You have killed an opponent way, way, way beyond your level. So great job, buddy. Now we gotta think about what we're gonna do next. Next, we're gonna have to fight a Mantine. Mantine is not good against our war since we're using a water type, but Contessa does no Charge Beam, so maybe she can do it. Charge Beam is not a, exactly a good move anymore. We need TMs like Thunderbolt. We need TMs like Flamethrower. We need better TMs, which, now that we're in the endgame, we could obtain. We just need to spend time to go get them. 
which we will do later on. Right now, what we need to focus on is just getting our experience up, leveling up, and getting ready for a very, very strong Elite Four. Because if the normal enemies are this strong, you can believe the Elite Four is even stronger. And we will finally become the champion of Pokemon Black when we defeat them. That was a crit. Crap. If that was a crit, then we are in, in serious trouble. And it knows it's a Parafusion user. So what we're going to do, if, if we don't break through this, we're going to use a full restore just to be safe. Because this is a... Oh my god, we broke through it. We broke through Confusion, we broke through Paralysis, and we hit a 90 accuracy move. I don't know the odds on that, but that, I'm going to guess they were extremely low. So good job. Contessa has hit level 48, so now we're going to have to focus something else. Uh, probably... Yes, yes, yes. I got it. I got it. I'm tough. Thank you. Okay, please. Ooh, a Leopard Bear. That gives me back my PP. That's pretty good. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to heal our team because that trainer freaking wrecked us. Um, definitely stronger than the champion, so that's... Uh, or the Elite Four that we fought. So that's uh, pretty scary. Uh, Toad's worth three. Oh, I should have done full restore. Whoops. Whatever, I have full restore. Don't worry. Full restores, where are you? Pray at the top, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yep, 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 there it is. We're going to full restore you. Uh, we're going to... Where is our... Do I have a paralyzed heal still? Yes, I do. Paralyzed heal you. Um, Scruffy needs to be revived. It's going to revive Scruffy. I know I could always just walk back to the Pokemon Center, but come on, guys. That's not the job. The job is getting wins. So we're not going to be going back. We're going to be doing this. Uh, let's go down here. And look at that. Our Pokemon are all healed up and ready to fight again. Which is good and all, but... We're in kind of... We're kind of deep shit right now. These guys are way stronger than I had remembered. I'm just prepared because I'm ready for anything. Yahoo! There's an awful lot of nothing around here, isn't there? Yes, there is. Especially when you don't give me anything. Damn. Alright, backpackers usually only have one Pokemon and apparently don't speak English. So, we are going to be able to fight this thing. Hopefully, we're going to be able to fight this thing. But first, we need to focus on Snover. Snover is going to be kind of a bitch. I know we can beat it, but it, 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 the fact that we sent in our grass type is going to be kind of a bitch. So, what are we going to do to Snover? We're going to not use the grass type, because that's an awful idea. It's like the one thing that, it, that Snover can beat. However, I don't think Snover stands a single chance against Roast, so we're going to send in Roast. So, hopefully this works out. There's no guarantees that it will. Uh, it knows Sheer Cold. Thank God it avoided the attack. For those of you that don't know, Sheer Cold is a one-hit KO move. If it hits you, you die. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Unless you have the ability Sturdy. I believe. Maybe. Yes. Unless you have the ability Sturdy. So, Roast was able to get a little experience. Little Gink got a little experience. It's all good. Now we gotta move on to the next opponent. Thank God that wasn't actually tough. She just had a really broken move. Uh, we need Waterfall to get down there? Hmm. wonder where we get Waterfall. Probably later in the game. Once we get Waterfall, we can head down there, see if there's any good TMs. But for now, let's keep going. Hopefully we can get to a new town soon. Oh, look at that. We're in a new town. It kind of cut off. What the heck? The new town was supposed to come up. But whatever. We are in a new town now, so now we're going to have to focus on going somewhere else. Uh, during the day, I sunbathe. During the night, I moonbathe. Nature sinks into my body. So now we're going to need to move... Sorry about that, guys. My family needed me really quick, so now I am back and I'm ready to kick this little girl's ass. Hopefully I do good, but, uh, I don't know how this is gonna go. This could end very badly for me. I... Oh, it's a little school kid. Serena bring... Oh my god, why does she have six Pokemon? And wait, are they like level... They're like level 60! How the hell am I supposed to kill six Pokemon that are level 60? Well, easy. All we need to do is we send in... Scruffy, because I trust Scruffy with his Intimidate. Let's hope to God they don't try to use Confuse Ray. Let's hope to God they don't try to Toxic us. And let's just get this done. Because if they go for Wing Attack, we're in the clear, people. If they go for Acrobatics, we are in the clear. Especially since the Intimidate just ruins them for it. I don't need to use Ice Fang. I believe Return will do enough damage. I don't know why I believe that, but we're going to go with it. And thank God it worked. Okay. I felt like it would, even though they're way higher level, just because they're not evolved. Oh, speaking of not evolved, this is a new Pokemon, Doduo, from Pokemon Fire Red, or Red and Blue. And, uh, I forget, I, I never used it, but I used to love it, so... Kind of a weird thing. It can learn Tri-Attack, and back in the day, Tri-Attack was physical, so it was pretty cool. For me, though, I'm more of a Pidgey guy myself. 
still a nice Pokemon, but you know, it's not the same. If it's not a Pidgey, it's not right. So let's send him back. Although I do love Talo. Talo would be like a close second, then maybe Star Raptor. Star Raptor's next. But Pidgey, Talo, Star Raptor. That's pretty much how it goes. Or I guess Swellow and Pidgeot. Whatever. It's not important, people. What is important is that we kick this little girl's ass so that we can freaking get some levels because we are struggling in the levels department. All we need, though, is... Well, I could stay in on the Slugma, actually, but I don't think I'm going to. I think everybody needs some levels, so let's give uh, let's give our boy here a chance. Toadsworth, get in here. We need to get you to level... Well, what's our highest level right now? Like, 49? We need to get you to level 49. Maybe a little bit higher. I don't know yet. All right, let's surf it. Slugmas are so goddamn awful. Like, I feel bad. Because Makargo is pretty cool looking. Just a giant molten lava creature. But its defenses... Uh, the only thing it's got going for it is defense. Its special attack isn't even that great. And its HP ruins... And its HP and typing ruin it. So it's kind of a... Kind of a sad story when it comes to that Pokemon. Still, I would use Slugma if... Uh, if I didn't feel so bad for it. <laughs> You know what, that actually sounds kind of horrible. Alright, Poochie, what are you going to do to me? I also love Poochiena. If I was playing Emerald or whatever, I would use a Poochiena. But, again, this isn't the world I'm living in, so I can't use him. As much as I love the little guy. So, get out of here. And no, I don't even think I'm ever going to play Emerald, guys. Because, like, I already did Fire Red and Leaf Green, and that's the same gen. And I'm probably going to do X and Y, which is the same gen as the remake, so... Ugh. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever going to do the other one. Sorry. We'll see. We got a long we got a long time to go. Who knows? Maybe they'll make another remake, you know? Just try to cash in on it twice. Probably a good idea. Think about it, Game Freak. Once you run out of ideas, just remake things twice. Fire Red and Leaf Green, you can call it Fire Rojo and... Oh, God, that sounded awful. But, yeah, whatever. You can you can make more games. Let me not try to... Let me not try to use Spanish. I can barely speak it myself. And, wait, does he have Sturdy? Is that the reason why he... No, he doesn't. I thought the reason he survived was because of Sturdy, but no, he's just that tanky. Plus, the freaking Paralysis is going to ruin us. That's that's just great. Can Quick Claw break through Paralysis? Oh, wow, it can. The Quick Claw made it so the Paralysis actually didn't come into effect. I didn't know it could do that. I guess Paralysis really does just affect your speed. It doesn't guarantee you seconds, so that makes sense. How can we be friendlier with Pokemon is also a mystery. Sorry, Serena. You had a lot of Pokemon, thank you for helping me train my Pokemon, but you're not exactly a threat. So, yeah, we'll see you next time. For now, I need a full restore, because you kind of screwed up my, my, my roast. The paralysis is just too much. It's bad enough I'm like 13 levels lower than you. I, I can't deal with paralysis on top of that. So let's do this, let's do this. I'm trying to sneak through here without running into an, uh, running into an opponent. Singing gives life to my spirit. Will you listen to my voice of spirit? Sure, go ahead, buddy. Oh, no? You, okay. Maybe I have to just stand near him and he'll start singing. I don't really want to, but that's just probably what you need to do, guys. I do have Serp on me, so I might as well just go for that item. Who knows? It could be a TM. And TMs are always very useful, usually. Usually. Okay, Calcium. That's always good. I could sell that for money. Or I could actually use it. Well, by this point, the EVs are probably pretty high. I mean, we already beat the Elite Four. I don't even know if I could use it now. But whatever. I don't need it. We have fast healing. Oh my god. It's only level 50 though. You know what? We might go for the kill. No, nah, no, no. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. We're not going to go for the kill. I'm tempted. I'm tempted to kill the little fishy fish. But I'm not going to do it. Instead, we're going to just keep going on with our adventure. And down we go. What about you? Do you want to fight? Oh yeah, she does. Holy crap. Okay, finally. We get a new opponent, guys. So we're going to need to focus on her weaknesses, which, Shannon, what's your weakness? Amoongus, weak to fire flying psychic. Hmm, probably something else, but that's all I can remember. Ice and ice, yes. So we're not going to be able to beat her with this. Honestly, we might not even be able to beat her with Roast if she goes for a tactical move like Stun Spore or, heaven forbid, uh, freaking Spore in general. Which, oh, she's one of those people. Okay, because she increased her special defense, Flamethrower probably isn't going to be doing great damage anymore. I hope it does, because we really do need to kill this thing, but yeah, that level difference, and oh my god, that's a crit, isn't it? That was a crit. Even with the special defense, it did not matter, and you did have Spore, you freaking jerk. Alright, so the Spore is going to be really annoying, but rather than wait a turn, or just to see if we wake up next turn, we're going to pay $50 to get out of jail, which $50 in this case is a Chesto Berry. 
Come on, roast. And like that, we're away. Clear smog. Oh, clear smog just uh, gets rid of all stat increases or stat effects, which we don't have any, so we're good. Uh, flamethrower one more time because thank God for that crater, we'd be in a lot of trouble right now. She could have just spored again. But Amoongus, give us that experience. We need to level up. 48. Heck yeah. We're doing it, people. We're doing it. And Lilo, 48 again. Holy crap. Not the strongest level up, but whatever. Ekans! I love Ekans! If I was playing freaking gold and silver, I might even use an Ekans. Um, let's see. It's probably gonna have Intimidate, so let's send in Contessa since she cannot be Intimidated. Which, well, she can, but it's like, she has no physical attack, so... Are you really Intimidating her? Or is she just letting you Intimidate her? Plus, have you seen Contessa? Have you seen Gothi Tell? You don't Intimidate her, she Intimidates you. So... Yeah, we're gonna psychic this thing. Oh, I'm so sorry, Ekans. I love you. I wish I could use you right now, but I cannot find you in the wild. Well, I could probably, but I already made my team. Maybe a future team, though. Hey, Saviper! Saviper is not the evolved form of Ekans, and definitely not the evolved form of Arbok, for those of you that got misinformed. Uh, it is just its own Pokemon from uh, the Ruby and Sapphire series. And its special attack is really high, its attack is really high. All of its other stats suck, so it's gonna die in one hit. Oh, never mind. I was wrong somehow. What the hell? How did it live? It has Night Slash? What the hell? Oh, crap. Don't get a crit. Don't get it. Wait, might not even need a crit. It didn't kill one HP. Thank you, God. One HP. We're good, people. We have nothing to worry about. Now, let's get our experience up and finish off the Grimer. Hopefully, the Grimer does enough damage, but we'll see. Uh, Psychic, 62... This is not going to be the best. Oh wow, it did take it down. Grimers are known for their high special defense, so I was a little bit worried if I'm being honest. Uh, well, we still did good though. Yeah, yeah, me and my Pokemon perform very well together. Thank you for noticing, Shannon. I gotta go though. Oh wait, do you want to fight? No, you just like to look at your bridge. I get you, man. Bridges are cool. What about you? Oh yeah, this is just a little mission you can do. I think, I think she'll ask you to help these people. Which I'm not too interested in at the moment, so let's just... Maybe we could check out the town. Maybe there's people in town that want to fight. Probably not, though. You will cross all the... Yeah, there are a lot of bridges in Unova. I have come to notice that. So... Hmm. Maybe we'll come check out these houses next time. Right now, I just want to get in there and I want to get some training done. Because training our team is going to be very important for the next, uh, next few episodes. Probably. Yeah, honestly, for the next few episodes. So first, let's take on these twins. It's okay to have a battle during a picnic, right? We will rally you and your Pokemon with our perfect combination. All right, girls, we're gonna kick you. I'm gonna kick your asses. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Sar, oh, they're cheerleaders. That's what it is. Okay, cool. Oh, and they both have Swoobats. That's pretty cool. All right, Swoobat, let's see what you got against my... Okay, that's not a good choice. Both of these are like the complete wrong choice for this fight. Um, well, I don't want to double switch. That would be awful. You know what? Let's just take it. Let's see how much damage we can do before we die. Swoobat is gonna die, and Swoobat is gonna die. That's all I'm gonna do, people. The Air Slash is super annoying. Please don't kill me, and please don't get the flinch if you don't kill me. It just killed- it was a crit. Okay. I was gonna say, it, it was a- it had to be a crit to kill me. And the second Air Slash, I'm not even at full HP, it might just kill me. Yeah, that's a- that's a death. It's okay, guys. We have backups. We have Toadsworth, and- Wait, what? Oh, I have to pick who it picks. Yeah, you have to do that. It's kind of weird. And we have Bumbeezy. The reason I'm picking Bumbeezy is simply for his speed. Toadsworth, just because he could take anything. I don't think anybody could kill Toadsworth in one hit, unless it was a grass move, but I'm not going to let that happen. I pray to God I don't let that happen. I forgot Surf Hits Friendlies in this game. All right, it's okay, Selgor. You're, you're, you're not in any danger. Uh, Bumbeezy outsped the Swoobat despite the level difference, and the, despite the fact that Swoobats are actually pretty fast. Hmm, the special defense drop might come in handy. Don't tell me Excelgore's dead, too. Flying Tides beat, like, my whole team, guys. Like, there are very few Pokemon on my team that can actually fight a Flying Type, and the fact that these guys are proving it is kind of scaring me. Oh, good, good, good! You got the Surf off. With this, we might be able to make a comeback. And we are definitely going to be able to make a comeback. With only one Swoobat in the game, we can do this. And Toadsworth is in level 48, which we desperately needed. And not the greatest level up in the world, but we got it. Next is Scruffy. Scruffy, you have no idea how important you are right now. Because if Toadsworth falls, you're the last line of defense. And you're already damaged. 
But who knows, maybe you could pull, pull something out of your ass. We're gonna use Sludge Bomb. I think Sludge Bomb's an effective move. And we're gonna use Crunch because of the super effective nature of it. Future Sight. Oh, now you'd use a useless move. Not when I was losing all my Pokemon. But I finally send out two things that aren't weak to flying, and look at that. It's over. Like that? Oh my god, I think all my guys hit level 48 now. That's freaking good. Let's see. 48, 3 3. Perfect. And Faye and Sue have been defeated. Sorry, Faye. Sorry, Sue. It just had to be done. Now, let me get to reviving, because you guys know that we freaking need some revives. Now, where the hell are they? Where the hell are they? There they are. Let's get to reviving, everybody. One for Lil Lil. One for Roast. And one for the good old Bumbeezy. Yes, I see that they also need to be healed. I, I get it. I just, I wish I bought Moomoo Milks before this episode. Because we're going to be wasting a lot of full restores right now. Which, not ideal, but it's got to it's gotta be done, people. So let's heal them up. And then let's send them back to the chopping block. Because they got a lot more fights in them. Honestly, they probably don't. I probably just need to do like maybe two more fights. And they'll be ready for their next fight. But let's get this item, because... Oh, it's just a full heal. Eh, whatever. Full heals are nice. Let's do this. I usually buy full heals, so I guess that's not bad. I was checking the landscape around just here just now. Yeah, so you're more interested in me than the landscape. That's not exactly a compliment. This place is okay looking, but not that great. Which is probably how you think... Oh, fuck you, girl. Alright, Paris. Bug grass type. Weak to just about everything, people. Except a pure grass type, which I'm coming to realize is starting to hurt me. Um... We're gonna just go for Giga Drain. I'm tired of switching. I think it might have X Scissors, so we gotta be a little bit afraid. Oh, wow. It's like I know the freaking future. And... Dang. Fuck. Alright. We need a new plan. New plan. Roast. Roast knows Flamethrower. The plan is already a success just before it was... Even before it was put into action. Maybe. Yep, it's even faster than the freaking thing. I guess level differences aren't, ex aren't everything. Although they are a lot of things. That's why all the rival battles people have to be the same level. Or if there's one alteration, the other person has to have the same alteration in levels. Just so that uh, it's still competitive. But who knows. Oh, it has anti anticipation, guys. The ability just lets you know if your opponent has a super effective move. If your Pokemon doesn't shudder in anticipation, then that means they do not have a super effective move. But they do have a tract. Oh, that is super annoying. Honestly, that's so annoying that I'm going to have to switch. There's no way she's gonna use a track twice, so I'm gonna send in I'm gonna send in Seismitoad. And if Roast outsped this thing, then Seismitoad definitely will. Oh wow, Flail, that's not even that good of a move. Like if I did like all your health, then maybe oh god, it's getting weaker. Then maybe it would have been a good move, but where it was at was not that great. I believe this warmer down is the bug ground type, so this will be super effective. Yes it is. There's a bug steel type and there's a bug grass type. The bug steel is the best though. And if it's male, it evolves into a moth, which not a very good moth, but looks pretty cool. And very few people even get to see it, so... You know, if you have it, you're, you're cool. Alright, so let's do this. And let's fight you. Are you raising these Pokemon all alone, or do you rely on Pokemon Daycare? I only rely on Daycare in the newer games when I'm trying to breed some new Pokemon that can actually be played competitively, but... I haven't done that since Sun and Moon came out. And not Ultra Sun and Moon, Sun and Moon. I kind of gave up on Pokemon since then. Except for the series. I always do. I always put all my full attention into Rivals Edition. I don't do any breeding for it, but I do play the game with all my heart. And Quick Claw. Come on, get that kill. I didn't think Flamethrower could do it, so I, I'm... Yeah, even with Hammer Arm, it wasn't enough. I could feel it in my heart, like, it's still not gonna be enough. But I had to... I had to try, people. Understand, I had to try to go for the insta-kill. Oh, great, he's... Wait, wait, wait. He's going for Endure, but there's a 10% chance I'll burn him. If I burn him, the game's over. We win. It, it, it didn't happen. Damn. Alright, whatever. If I scald him, we win. Simple as that. Makuhita's a cool fighting type, but it's not gonna be our fighting type. Despite the level difference. Ryolu, on the other hand, is also not gonna beat our fighting type. We're gonna kick its ass. I miss you, my blue. Like, we used a Ryolu back in the freaking, uh, what was it? Platinum Let's Play, so... It is kind of sad to see him again. Wait, are you going to use Scald on me? Are you serious? That is a super good... I didn't even think about that. That is a super good move to use. I mean, you're still a baby Pokemon, so it's not going to do that much damage, but that was cool. All right, Rayalu, I see you. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Going to go for another Flamethrower, try to get the kill. Wait, if I did Flamethrower, does that mean you're copycatting a Flamethrower now? Aw, oh, damn. Sorry, Rayalu, that damage is just not going to be that good. 
it's not very effective in fact so bummer however for us that was a good kill we're good and we hit level 49 which is also very good for us and the breeder has a Tyro. Tyro, the fighting type. This guy's just all fighting types, Jesus. Let's send in Contessa. Contessa's got psychic moves. She can handle as many fighting types as this guy has. It should be fine. It should be fine. There's no guarantees it'll actually go well. I'm actually completely terrified. Tyro is a cool Pokemon though, because it can evolve into three different things depending on its stats. First thing is Hitmonlee. Second thing is Hitmonchan. Third thing is Hitmontop. Hitmonlee if you have more attack. Hitmonchan uh, if you have more defense. And hit him on top if you somehow got your attack and defense to be the same. Use protein and... and... What's the other one called? Iron. Use protein and iron to make that happen. And look at that. I was only thinking about eggs. Yeah, you seem to be a breeder, alright. Um, not too fond of you, though. That was kind of fucked up. Oh, sit- no, we're cool. Never mind. Thank you, Mr. Breeder. Thank you, Mr. Citrus Berry. That was a really nice, nice gesture, gesture of you. So now, I'm gonna get this item. And now, I'm going to go get the last kills. Because there should be, yeah, there's still more trainers here. There should be more breeders, I guess that's okay. Energy Ball, ooh! That is a super good TM, and I can't believe we already got that. Energy Ball is an 80 power, uh, it's basically Shadow Ball, but for grass types. So it's super good. I don't think it's better than Giga Drain, though, simply because Giga Drain heals us. Energy Ball does have a chance of blowing your opponent's special defense, but I care so little about that. And the Giga Drain actually can win fights, so... I don't know. I think I'm just going to keep the Giga Drain. Maybe something else can learn Energy Ball, though. I'll check. Maybe something else can learn it. Weedle is dead. I'm sorry, Weedle. So with the Weedle dead, we're going to have to focus... Oh, he's sending in the big boy. With Weedle dead, he's going to send in the Beedrill. And the Beedrill is not a freaking joke. It's Poison Jab. Please don't kill, don't kill, don't kill, don't kill. 1 HP and we are burned, or poisoned. So, I can't believe we survived with 1 HP, but we will lose the battle if we don't kill him in one hit. We killed him in one hit, doesn't even matter, because what I can do now, I'll get the experience, and then I will die to poison. But we got the experience, people, and that's what really matters. The experience is what matters. So, Bumbeez is our fastest, and we're fighting a bug type, so I kind of want to use Bumbeez. Just out of, for comedy's sake, like, hey, you're fighting us with this, I'm going to fight you with the same thing. Uh, didn't think you'd send in that, though, so that's kind of going to suck for me. I don't even think Bug Buzz is going to do that much damage due to the fact that it four times resists it, but it doesn't matter when you do that good. Plus, what can Kakuna do? It's just going to hurt. A level 63 Kakuna. This guy is dedicated. If you can get a level 63 Kakuna, you will have no life. And if you have anything higher, then just don't mention that to anybody. Honestly, you keep that business to yourself. So, School Kid Gem, yep, 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 you're done. I think we have enough time for one more battle today, people, so let's make it special. We're gonna fight the Breeder. After this, though, we have a rival battle coming up, and I gotta train up for it, so I hope you guys are ready for that. So let's see. We are gonna be fighting Breeder Ethel, and she has Shove It. Of course she has Shove It. How the hell am I gonna deal with that? Alright, we can do it with Toadsworth. Toadsworth can take anything. As long as it's not a grass move, we can do it. Um, I don't think Shove It has Levitate, but we're not taking that risk. Oh, Snatch. That's weird. So it waits for us to make a move. We're going to use Surf. And then, if it doesn't just instantly die, which it didn't, it can now do nothing. It died to Surf. Uh, surf again. I guess that other move it used has priority, or we have a speed tie. I'm going to guess priority in the... On, honestly, it's probably just priority. Um, Cacnea. Cacnea is more of a bum easy job. bum easy will kill Cacnea no problem. It's only a grass type right now. If it was a grass dark type, this would be way better. But since we're just using a grass type, whatever. It's still gonna kill it in one hit. Hell, when we did a four times resistant attack, it still killed it in like two hits, so. Bumbeezy, you're just making me so proud. Such a cool bug. Thank you, Arturo, for raising it. Thank you for letting it destroy you. Or defeat you. It wasn't a destruction. It was. It by itself is a destruction, but the entire battle was not destruction. That was way too close. So, Giga Drain, Fan Feet. Give me that health. Yeah, Fampy's really cool too. I would love that Pokemon. And Bumbeezy hit level 50, which is going to be our cap now, because that is the highest level Pokemon I have. Which... Ooh, a Skitty! That's my real favorite. I love Skitties. I think Skitties are freaking awesome. Um, they're not real, They're not good Pokemon in any sense of the word, but I love Fake Outers, and Skitty is a fun Fake Outer. Plus, in future games, it can learn Fairy Moves, which is kind of nice. Um, it also evolves through Moonstone if you're trying to evolve one and it's kind of weird. 
Yeah, just get a bit of Moonstone, it'll evolve into Dale Caddy. But if you do that, it won't learn moves anymore, so... You know, it's a give and take. Alright, we're almost done, people. Once we get this kill, we will end off the episode and get into our rival battle. Hopefully this goes well, though. And... Wait for it... Good level up that time, very good level up. Alright, all we have to deal with is the snow run, we can do that. Sadly, we're gonna have to use Scruffy, but he could do it. Trust me, guys, he could do it. Ugh, I'm getting super tired, guys. It's been a long day for me. I'm just gonna use the Fire Fang and get this thing done. Oh my god, that was like the first time we ever missed Fire Fang, meaning this is gonna take 10 seconds longer. But it's okay, we're still gonna get the kill. It didn't even get the kill, oh my god. No wonder, because Rival Rival Vidal is using the freaking snow run. No wonder it never gets the kill. I mean, no wonder it never dies in one hit. It's freaking tanky. Plus it has ice body, so it's healing itself. Which is pretty freaking good. So let's kill this thing off, and then... Come on, give me some experience. Scruffy's gonna need it. The ether Ethel is dead. Now, I want to thank you all for watching this episode, but we do need to get on to- Oh my god, another citrus berry. We do need to get on to the rival battle. I will train up the team to level 50 so we can hit that level cap. And thank you all for watching. See you soon. Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to another rival battle. It's me, Koopa, versus me, Vidal. All right, Vidal, let's go into this and fight, because uh, you're like the only real person I'm afraid of left in this series. <laughs> After this, I just have to fight Geo, and I'm not that scared of Geo. That's rude. Don't be mean to Geo like that. What do you mean to do? Geo. He's, he was mean to himself. Can I go fight that guy? So. I want you to fight Steven. <laughs> okay, no, that one, he was a bully. You bullied him. Yeah. So, Ollie, too. I'm not even going to put items on. And then Charizard sweeps. <laughs> I heard about that, oh, I was like, that's just rude. But Vidal, on the other hand, this guy almost beat Arturo, lost <laughs> by a flinch. Almost beat Wookie, lost by one Pokemon, half health. Um, I don't think you fought anyone else with any rank. So, no, not really. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Roadhog. <laughs> Roast. Hey! <laughs> hey. <laughs> What's up there, buddy? How you doing? Hey, it's the other fire dude. Yeah, fire dude versus fire dude. Yeah, this is gonna be an interesting one, ain't it? Well, it would be funny. Yeah, let's be funny. Let's do that. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> hey, it hit! Hey, if your Swamper can do it, I think I, my Embor can do it. If, if that's not a crit. Okay, good. Oh, fuck you, bitch. Let's be funny and both die. <laughs> <laughs> no fire types in this battle. Never again. Yeah. Don't worry, I take like, I think it said like cruel damage or something. So that means like half my uh, half the damage Oof. back. Yeah. Hey, we both died. <laughs> Alright, that's one way to start a battle. <laughs> I don't get a fire type, you don't get a fire type. Seems fair? Hey. So, what are we gonna do now? Farah. Oh, you're fucking intimidating. <laughs> oh. Dude, we're we're pretty similar right now. I sent in my intimidator. <laughs> you're <laughs> bastard. They're both normal too. Yeah. What the hell? This is both our Normal types. What, what you doing there? Uh, I, 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 don't worry, I can't look at your screen. Yeah, I know you can't, but what you doing there, Vidal? Uh, being funny. I don't find this very funny. <laughs> I do. It's like, wh when we were in the menu, guys, he kept, like, fusing into my guy, and I think now he knows <laughs> well, all well, my well, moves. Well, well, they see that it, it was uh, in the opening yeah, scene. yeah, Scruffy's tanky, because his nature is defense. You bastard. And now that you don't have your defense, even with my attack down, this should hurt. Ah! Yeah, it should hurt. Breezy Fang. Ah should have done better than that. That's sad, that's sad. That was supposed to be just, more. Just put him down, dude. Yeah, just put me down. Good all. I, I, I wish I could. Go ahead. It all depends on what the fuck this is. Please. <laughs> oh, oh, you fucking bastard. Thank God for Intimidator. Fair, or, freaking Scruffy would be dead. Now let me return the favor. Oh. Vidal, yeah, say you make bad puns? I do make bad puns. Do a good pun, Vidal. Do it for the people. No. How much damage is Ice Fang? Uh, 65 times 2 is 130. Your return's stronger. 
Yeah, it's probably like 150 if my happiness is full. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but Jake doesn't oh, have his happiness. Jake is a bad trainer. He doesn't oh, know. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't yeah. know his happiness. <laughs> I don't know because I die in the story because everything's level 65 now. True. But that's why that's what the massage is for, and the joint avenue. The joint avenue. I don't have joint avenue. I go to. I just go to the massage yeah. chick, and she just rubs my Pokemon down. Soldier the seventy six. What the fuck? Yeah, fight me. I don't want to fight you. You're gonna kill me. Exactly. That's the point. Better right. not run, Jake. No, I won't run for me. Let's let's just kill my guy. Go ahead. Right. He dies. He dies. Bye bye. Goodbye, Scruffy. Because honestly, I don't know what move you'd fucking pick. <laughs> I can't predict you, man. So I'm like, eh, maybe that's not the best Pokemon to send in. Honestly, that was pretty smart. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, he saw your screen. <laughs> I was like, wow, like, that was pretty uh, okay. good. Yeah. Okay, right, now I know one's stronger, but I also know your defenses are different. I also know my stats are different. But let's go with you. I remember you, can check your, you can check your stuff into something. Yeah. No, I know my stats. Pick. Well, I don't. I, I'm trying to remember his yeah, stats. Oh, because if I know his stats, yeah, then I know yeah. which one's better. Because <laughs> my guy's stats are 75 attacks, 75 special attacks. Yeah, Rock so I can pick either one. But one's naturally stronger. Yeah. But thanks to his yeah. special defense, this should actually get a kill. Unless Soldier 76 is just that strong. Nah, no. Thank God. No, your guy just hits hard and he's fucking fat. Well, oh, he's yeah, fast he's for fast. a steel type. I'll give him that. Oh yeah, dude. I, I, I was surprised he was that fast. Was like, what the but fuck? this is my tank, Vidal. This is my ground type. Just wait, we both did our ground types. What the fuck? <laughs> Except for here's the thing. Yeah. I have another ground type. Oh. Oh. This, this isn't in here, by the way. I know, but I. Oh. Have fun. I can't. <laughs> I don't know how to call this. The scoop? No, I don't know. <laughs> I, I know what move you might use, but then you know I know that move. So, I don't know what to do. You might have me. Play the game already. Oh. <laughs> um, stop thing and just pick something. No, I'm afraid you're gonna hurt me. Well, I'm gonna hurt you either way. Fuck just it. pick something. I don't need her. I need Toadsworth for later. Yeah, yeah. wait, Toadsworth is banned. No, he isn't. We banned them from Mario Sluggers. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. I yeah. Oh, God, God, God. Quick Claw. Okay, thank God it was that. And she could take anything, physical or special. As long as it's not a crit. <laughs> nice. <laughs> as long as it's not a crit. Ah, I forget your typing. Yeah. Oh, wow. uh, she is goth girl. That is a good move. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck you and your fucking heart scales. Whoa! Oh, Contessa, thank you! Citrus. Citrus berry? What the fuck? Although I know you're specially defensive, so this isn't gonna kill me. Oh, hell no. This is just doing- It's gonna hurt. It's like solid hell. damage, but you're a special tank. It's gonna hurt. Oh, oh my Wow, God. that was not solid damage at all. Just scoop. <laughs> at all, please. Scoop. Stop, you're hurting me. No. I need to stand first and you're about no, you, to No, 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 you kept talking trash. Uh, you're right, you're right. You're like, no, nah, I'm not gonna lose to you. I'm not gonna- I know, I, I, I was messaging you at all. I'm like, he's not gonna beat me. You're not gonna beat me. Just give up. Focus yeah, yeah. on a different person. Yeah, you're not and then, then I sent him the meme of, you know, Cusco about to fall off the waterfall, just bring it on. <laughs> and he's like, okay. Alright, let's try this one then. Take on the Lilith. My, my Lil again. <laughs> now, I can't trust this move because it's never worked in this entire series. Oh, the Quick Claw, no! <laughs> Anything but that! The Psycho Cut, no! Die, bitch. Psycho, please. Nice. <laughs> Take a little... Oh shit! If it would have been a crit, I would have died in one hit. Oh yeah. Ah! Oh my yeah. god. Oh, speaking that of crits. Crit. <laughs> yeah, there's no way I wouldn't have killed you without a crit. That I needed, I needed that crit, man. I feel like I just cheated. You did cheat. Because that Psycho Cut dude. has a high crit chance. Yeah. Giga Dream doesn't. It gave, it gave your guy that high Yeah, it gave me yeah, <laughs> Oh my god, why'd I give you moves? Why'd I, why'd I give you moves? That was horrible. Because you're a good friend? I am a horrible friend, you don't know. Oh, I do know, that's how I know you're a horrible friend. Kinda looks like... I try to play, you know, you be good like for the people, you know? Kinda looks like Lilith has a crown. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But she do have a crown. Oh, oh no. You Queen. gave it to a plant. Lilith? <laughs> yeah, Lilith. God damn it, Jake! Lilith get? <laughs> No, no, no. We're not bringing that here to this channel. God, no. It's too late. It's, like you... <laughs> it's too late. That's how process came to be. 
<laughs> That's why you didn't get it to the floor. <laughs> oh no. Yes, okay. So it's worth your 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 tanky, right? Yeah, you're tanky. Alright. Wait. You look like you're flying, but you don't fly. But I'm faster than you. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't have levitate. Alright, please, Toadsworth. You've been able to take everything in the series. You let me die. That's why you always have to be you always have to be ready. There's always right, that you, chance. You jinx yourself. Kill no, it. you jinxed Man. me. <laughs> no. I said he has to try. You're the one that's like, no, he's gonna he's gonna be fine. Oh my god. Oh Jesus Christ. I'm out of moves for you, Vidal. You might have gone. Thank you. Unless. Uh, there's still one Pokemon that you haven't shown. Yeah, but that Pokemon can't hurt you. <laughs> I just have to hope that he can do enough. Not bad. <laughs> okay. Memory. What blocks what? This is the only move that doesn't get blocked, but this move gets stabbed. Block, stab, block, stab, block, stab. Alright. Damn it. <laughs> I just did. <laughs> This should do less than half. Oh my god, that was not even close to what I needed. Uh, oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. That's not too bad now. Maybe... I was hoping for the freaking freeze. <laughs> Maybe there's something I could do here now. Hold up. Uh, I might, yeah, let me see how much stab would have done. Compared to non-stab. Oh, it's like the same. Not much. Yeah. Oh, but that, that matters. Okay. Yeah, that mattered. That fucking mattered. That, if it gets the paralysis, I'm going to slap you. Oh, Damn thank it. you, God. Yeah, it, looks best, it looks so close. It literally slowed it, it literally, <laughs> I, I don't know what to say at all. That that was fucking scary. No! <laughs> Did you forget yeah, I, I have this I knew move? you had it, but I couldn't switch into my other girl. She's also weak to me. <laughs> Oh my god, Vidal. You can't do this to me. This is and I still I have, have one Pokemon left at full health. Vidal, what is his, what's his last Pokemon? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The king is dead. Bong Dose king. point <laughs> O is left. Wait, then there's a chance. There is a chance, but you have to I kill have me. I have to live. You have to kill me. I have to live. That's it. You'll live. No, I won't. Oh, you're slower. I'm slower. Frostlass is fast. She's not fast. Vidal? You ended my series. <laughs> You're welcome. I will never be known as first in my own series. Well, that's well, not true. Yeah. We, all, we all could lose. <laughs> oh, as come right, on. As of right now, Vidal destroyed you. Badly. I didn't even need to use my sticks. I'm kind of upset. <laughs> Vidal, I hate you, but I respect you. We haven't fought in over a year. Yeah, that's because you banned me from a series. Yeah, that we'll... we'll, we'll We'll delete whatever that happened. <laughs> but I, I admit it, you're better than me. I'll admit it, I'll admit it. Alright. So, your next opponent is... Uh, right there on the other side. Right, right there. So, uh, all right. we'll see how this goes next time. But thank you all yep. for watching, and uh, see you later. Yep, bye.